Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm playing Necrolord Balanced Raid. I finally got the legendary Circle of Life and Death because people have been spamming in the comment section for me to get this. I had to get, I had to literally force myself to do LFR to get the legendary plants because I didn't have it. And then I had to force myself to do Torghast because I have literally like eight legendaries on this team, not to mention all the legendaries I have on alt. So the amount of times I've done Torghast, I'm just kind of over it. So I forced myself to do it. Uh, and it's probably gonna stay 190 for a while just because I don't even have the other legendaries maxed. Uh, so I'm just playing this out, and this is going to be my first legendary, I mean not my first legendary, uh, my first time testing this legendary, because uh, I've not tested this legendary out. I did do a background before this, but we had a team of gladiators literally camp the alliance in like two seconds, uh, so it wasn't really much testing. So this is going to be my first reaction to basically uh, testing it out. Uh, and here's the build, and um, that covers up everything. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. These queue times, though, have been absolutely ridiculous. I had a 50-minute wait yesterday to the point where I just logged off, and then random battlegrounds so far today have been 15 minutes. Uh, for <laughs> it's just, ah, oh, man. Like, I know horde queue times are obviously very long, but even, I think I murked the other day, and a murk queue even took, like, 8 minutes, which is not really that far behind on a horde, which is actually really sad. This game is just... I've never seen the game in a very bad state as like I have with this one. It's actually pretty crazy. Uh, I want to see how much damage we can do with the whole between the dots and starfall though. That's what I'm just going to be doing is the whole starfall and dot spam pretty much. Let's see how much... Nope. I gotta remember. I haven't played uh, Eye of the Storm in middle in like forever. Because I always avoid middle. Uh, so I don't really play Eye of the Storm in the middle that much. I always go to the tower because I main Feral Druid. Alright. Adaptive Swarm back on him. Yeah, we're getting kind of destroyed here a little bit. Gotta be extra careful. I thought we were winning this team fight, but apparently we aren't. I don't even know who's uh, doing the most damage right now. I assume probably another Balanced Druid or maybe the... Mage who's AOing. I don't know. Uh, I'll admit that was pretty close. Pretty close. But not close enough, Mr. Ellie. Let's take out that Ellie if we can. We definitely need to take out the Ellie. They have a lot of knockback classes, so that's probably the reason why they're winning. Because I don't think they're winning the team fight. I just think they're winning the knockoff uh, team fight, basically, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Star Surge to finish off the Demon Hunter. I'm actually kind of liking the rot damage, though. The rot damage is, uh, actually, uh, pretty good. Like, I, I definitely notice a difference with damage with this legendary, uh, over before. So that's actually pretty good. I'm hearing Necrolord Boomy is probably going to be the way to go for 9.1 as well, according to everybody. So, <laughs> I was only Necrolord for Feral. So, it's just an added bonus for Boomy, if it's supposedly the best for 9.1. Or at least that's what I'm hearing. But, <laughs> nobody really plays Shadowlands anymore, so... There's, like, barely any YouTube videos left of uh, Shadowlands. Like, I know a few channels that still post Shadowlands content. Like, uh, Para is one of them... Uh, Bajir is one of them. I think Dalaran still posts it all the time. Uh, but other than that, people have either quit or uh, there's just, yeah, not much going on left, if that makes any sense. Need to get out of here. We're taking way too much damage here. Too much heat. I think it, I think we can get a kill on the Hunter. I just need to put Daka Swarm on him real quick and get some Star Surges out. He should die. Ooh, I'm so glad I tried to get that one bear form. I feel like I would have died there. Haven't gotten any kills. Like, the only thing about Necrolord, I feel like you don't really get much kills because most of your damage is kind of like rot. So, we all know, like, there, there nothing really needs to be said. Topping, a dam uh, topping damage is boomy isn't really, like, impressive. Everybody pretty much knows that. Although I do like pushing, like, really, really high numbers. Like, uh, I think I got close to 3 million. Uh, and it was actually in Eye of the Storm, so. 
This is mostly just kind of like a testing battleground. I know we're losing and I don't really expect to think win this one. Oh, somebody trapped him. I need to get Dots back up. Oh, he got a taste of his own medicine. Uh, oh, we actually did get blow off, which is good. I think we're losing it, aren't we? Oh, we're about to get four capped. All right, let's go ahead and head back over and help out at least blow it off at least. Yeah, we're getting destroyed. I'm just gonna dot everybody up first and then just use cooldowns and see what we can do anything here. This actually feels like the opposite of the last battleground I had. If it, it's not really as bad, I guess I should say. Well, we almost destroyed that Windwalker. The Windwalkers die extremely easy. And stop damage is actually pretty good. I'm noticing a lot of them are actually pretty low. Get Wrath out. Three dots. I almost have Nitro back up, which is actually good. Alright, we should finish off the Hunter and at least get the kill. I think he'll die to that. I don't know if he will or not. Is there a Dream? Can we get some DPS? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're like low on heals. I don't know if we're low on da damage. Yeah, I just, I don't know what's going on right now, to be honest. Knock him back. Interrupt uh, Fist of Fury. He doesn't have Karma up, so he should die to this. Never mind, healers. Abort, abort, abort. I'm going root. Yeah, yeah, he gets both healers here. Between the disc and the Rester Druid, he's not gonna die. Uh, get out of there. I'm actually going to put a flesh craft up. I know he's going to interrupt it. Actually, no. We're good. Or it is a joke. <laughs> or is that a joke? It's just the way it is, man. Just the way it is. This game is winnable. You know, I really wish it was, man. But to be honest, like I said, I really just wanted to test, uh... I just really wanted to test um, Necrolor to uh, Bomi with the Legendary anyways. Let's kill the lock at least before he gets healed. Never mind. Yeah, I'm kind of like realistic. I think I haven't checked the damage meters because I just I don't really care. I mean, it's full of, like I can basically get a general idea just even looking at this. But I have a feeling I'm probably the only real like high damage in this background right now. Look at all the people that are low, like holy cow. This is actually insane. <laughs> and they have two healers here. As soon as I get into it, uh, pop my, I'm gonna pop my cooldowns once I can. Alright, here we go. Pop my cooldowns. There we go, Monk immediately died to that. <laughs> this is so much AoE, man. It's insane. Abort, abort. Star Surge, Star Surge. That was... <laughs> you, like, you guys saw how much AoE that was doing, right? Like, look at... Yeah, this is pretty much as to be expected. There's another kind of semi-decent damage between the Shadow Priest, but... That's insane! That AoE is absolutely crazy! I mean... We lost this Barragon, so be it, whatever, but I pretty much got what I uh, wanted to test, and between, like, keep in mind, both healers were there, and I saw a good majority of them were low for quite some time, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Necrolord Boomy. Uh, I think it's actually pretty dang good, especially in Barragons, like, 
rotting teams down like that actually uh, wasn't really too bad. So uh, I'm not going to use Adaptive Swarm on uh, the Hunter yet just because like what's the point? Uh, for some reason my trick get used by accident. I don't know how because I didn't push the keybind for it, but you know what, whatever. Uh, he should die to that. I didn't even want to use Adaptive Swarm on him because Hunters can just immediately remove everything anyways, but... I don't know, I didn't push my tricky keybind, whatever. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, the real can't get me last second, so... Haha! <laughs> uh, another Boomy kept up with me, I don't know if he's a Necro Lord or not. He's pretty good though, he's actually more geared than me! I'm 39k and he has 42k, so... Uh, that's it! So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I'll see you guys later!